all right guys so today's video is about how to connect t800 ultra smartwatch to phone let's get down to business the first thing to do here is to switch on your bluetooth your data and your location so let's go to our smartphone and switch on our wi-fi or our data and our bluetooth and our location so once you are switched on these three settings you are good to go now the next thing to do is to go to the smartwatch and switch on your bluetooth call okay swipe up and select this option here and you are going to see bluetooth call is now on so once you have done that the next thing to do is to scan the qr code that is assigned for the t800 ultra smartwatch so you can see that by swiping left and you are going to see this prompt click scan to download select that and you are going to see the qr code now on the smartwatch pack you can see it is iWatch Pro, but let's confirm it and scan it with a QR code scanner. So I'm going to scan this and it has popped up a web page. So let's select that and let's see if it is truly iWatch Pro. You can download if you are using an iPhone, you use the Apple Store link, and if you are using an Android like me, you use the Google Play Store link. So I'm going to select that and it's going to refer you to Google Play Store. There you can download iWatch Pro app and open it. As you can see, I've already downloaded mine. So I'm just going to launch it and connect it up to my T800 Ultra smartwatch. Now, once you are here, this is the home page. Now, go to the option set. And you are going to see bind device to experience more features. Now, select that. And it's going to scan for Bluetooth devices around you. So you are going to see that your smartwatch is going to pop up here so as you can see there are a lot of smartwatches around me so it is popping them up so it has located our t800 ultra smartwatch which you can see on the bluetooth list here so i'm going to select that and let's see if it's going to connect as you can see it says iwatch pro connected that means it is truly connected and all this will be completed now we have our iwatch pro app connected to a t800 ultra smartwatch now the next thing to do here is to now pair up the bluetooth as you can see it shows bluetooth pairing select got it and use the find feature to confirm that it is truly connected as you can see it is ringing that shows that it is truly connected to a t800 ultra smartwatch now we have a bluetooth pairing request up here pair and connect and let it access your contact and call issue. Select that and peer. If you don't see this Bluetooth pop up like this, go to your Bluetooth settings on your smartphone and search for it, okay? Search for it and it's going to pop up. So make sure you have your T800 Ultra connected to your Bluetooth of your smartphone. If not, it's not going to work for you. Okay, once you have done that, let's go back to our iWatch Pro app now other settings you can do to enjoy your smartwatch is to have whatsapp notification turned on so how do you do that you go to this message push option here select that and make sure you have all these options turned on here is for the call reminder which is turned on already here for the sms reminder turn it on if you want facebook reminder come to facebook and select open and it's going to ask you for notification access. Now search for iWatch Pro here. Select that and make sure you grant it notification access. Turn it on. Select allow notification access for iWatch Pro. And select the back key and back key and back key. Now when you toggle the Facebook option on, it should turn on like this. As you can see, set successfully. Now turn on for the Twitter turn on for whatsapp which is very important and for instagram there are some other ones here you can see it says these following applications are not supported by some bracelet so if you still want to turn it on you can come here to turn on your snapshot and you are good to go so let's test it out let's see if it's going to receive whatsapp notification so i'm going to send a message to this smartwatch right now so hi have you subscribed let's see it's going to come up here so as you can see, it says, I have you subscribed. And on the smartwatch, you can see the message says, hello, 
have you subscribed so let's check it out on the smartwatch whatsapp as you can see it is showing hello have you subscribed so that is how to receive whatsapp message notification on your t800 ultra smartwatch how to add frequent contact so if you have any contact you want to add to your t800 ultra smartwatch come to frequent contact here select that and select the plus icon up here and it's going to ask you to add your frequently called contact so i'm going to just add a name are they and i'm going to add a random number here and select ok and you can see are is on the list so if you want to add more you can go ahead and add as much as you want so once you have done that your frequently contact will be on this page so you can come to the sos and turn it on this way and it's going to set the second number as sos but if you want the first one just select the sos option and it's going to set the first one as sos so that is all on the frequently contact now if you want to change the dial watch face that is you want to customize the dial you want to change the wallpaper that is pre-installed on the app which you can see there are a lot of them here you can also do that so how do you change it come to the dial settings down here select that and it's going to bring up the dial management page so wait for it to upload and you are going to see a lot of dies that you can pick from as you can see there are a lot of dies here so i'm just going to pick one for this video test so let's pick this when you select that allow it to load and select the kindly reminder got it option and as you can see dial installation is uploading already so let's wait for it to complete the uploading process so now we have the new watch face on the t800 ultra smartwatch which you can see here now if you want to change the watch face to your customized wallpaper that is you don't want all this dial you want to change it to your own customized wallpaper all you have to do is to go all the way down to the custom die here as you can see custom die now select the custom die option and you can just select any of these wallpaper select it this way and it's going to bring up this page okay so now you can select your image and it's going to ask you allow iWatch Pro to access your photo and media on your device and it's going to show your gallery as you can see i have some pictures here so i'm going to select this picture here and you can see the slider if you want to shrink in or out so i'm just going to go a little bit in and select the tick option up here and you can see it on the frame already now if you want your date to be down you can just pick lower left or lower right upper right i mean or bottom right so it will be at the bottom right or anywhere you want it to be you can just pick the position and it's going to move there i love it this way so i'm going to pick the option install so when you select install it is going to start uploading your new watch face to your t800 ultra smartwatch so let's select install once again kindly reminder select got it and it is uploading so you have to wait for it to upload completely this is going to take you less than a minute and you have your new watch face on your t800 ultra smartwatch now we have our new watch face on our watch right now which you can see this looks beautiful guys as you can see this is how to customize your t800 ultra watch with your pictures now the next thing i'm going to share with you here is how to set the time so you can set the time once you connect it successfully to your smartphone and also you can do the setting manually by going to the setting on the smartphone so how do you do that you go to the settings this way and select this get icon and swipe up and you are going to see set time select that and you can now set the time to the time to the time that you want as you can see i can tap up and it's going to change it and i can go all the way down to change it but one thing you should know that this guy here once you select tick is only going to give you military time and it is not the normal 12 hours time format on the smart watch so for now it is what it is so that is how you are going to use it if you also want to change the date 
you can come here and select date and set it to your date okay once you are done select the tick option and it is set this is for the backlight time in case you are having your light time go off every now and then come here and set it to three minutes and it's not going to go off every now and then so here you can swipe up and select this side key settings this side key setting is just for you to customize the action button so you can set it to exercise you can set it to others menu on the smartwatch so let's select this side key setting here and you can now set it to any of these modes you can set it to your sport mode you can set it to game you can set it to weather you can set it to stopwatch or any one that you want you can even set it to sos emergency contact so i'm going to set it to sos and let's test it out so when you press this side button or this action button it's going to dial your sos number which you can see here so it's as easy as that that is how to customize the action mode button and also if you want to stop the smartwatch from giving you this always on display make sure this option is toggle off once you press it this way it's no longer going to give you always on display but if you want the always on display feature that shows up every time on the smartwatch when it goes to sleep then make sure this option here is toggle on like this with that being said that is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video to this very end if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as possible i remember about tundra motayo and i'll see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now peace